Hi guys, Deja B here, the real Neo, here to give you some information on Disney drunk and the definition of Disney drunk within the Mason tricks that we're experiencing now. Now, Disney drunk is where they basically, if I told everybody in 1996, 20 years ago, that almost all of the entertainment industry would be controlled by Disney, they would have laughed me in the face. Oh, that's a monopoly. Oh, you know. You no, there's no way, no way, but here we are in 2016 and that's pretty much the case. You have Sony and then you have, you know, a couple of smaller studios and then you have Disney and Disney owns a lot of the small, I mean, it's amazing guys. It is amazing. It's far, far different than the old Touchstone, you know, which was Disney. They always would do PG movies, but just a little, you know, they could cuss a little bit, but where we're at now, like I said, everything is Disney and I just wanted to touch base with you guys and explain what Disney drunk is, is when they basically, when you yield or give up your own imagination and your own hopes and dreams, basically for, you know, Disney dreams, like fake space or fake Mars missions or fake heroes like Elon Musk and could go on all day, all this fake stuff. That's, if you believe into all that stuff, that's where the Disney drunk comes in. You know, it's just, it's never ceases to amaze me that people think that satellites exist, yet in the Standing Rock or Sacred Stone camps and stuff like that, you don't have any 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 uh, communications basically unless you get up on a hill. And the reason being is satellites don't exist. Whenever you see those satellite trucks for uh, you know the, the 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 fake news media, you always see them. What they're doing is bouncing that signal to find a tower or find a lower connection. I'll put a picture of some towers in here, and that that's your satellites. That's what's going on. That's what's always been going on. Uh, yes, they have drones that could fly up there all day long over a battlefield and so on, but they don't have the satellites that they talk about. So, again, Disney drunk, if you think that, you know, SpaceX has been launching satellites up there and, and you see all these curves. I mean, like I said, guys, $63 million a day for the U.S. US space program and nobody has any pictures of Earth. <laughs> you know, and then I come out and explain to people, well, what if it's the heart realm? Because... If you want peace here, wouldn't it be much more prudent to emphasize that this is the living heart realm and that uh, running around and killing things and blowing things up is like uh, so yesterday's news or history. And we could do a whole lot better with solar solutions for homes, wind solutions, electricity, electric cars, uh, cars that run on water. You know, I mean, leave it to the Japanese to really kick some ass. I mean, Stan Meyer did it in the United States too as well in the 80s try to get us off the oil embargo and you know it was it was you just look into Stanley Meyer uh, his brother has taken up the torch on some of that but uh, you know it's all real people and then there was an end machine that was created right there and here in Louisville uh, that was basically you know gives out more energy than it takes in uh, very very awesome <laughs> But we don't hear about stuff like that because, again, as long as you're stuck in this, I have to go to the gas station every week and I have to do all of this stuff for, for, for fake fossil fuels, the fraud that's fossil fuels. That's mother's blood we're talking about. That's why it has energy in it. When we have to go and do that every week and give up money, then we're completely in control of them. That's why, if you notice, I mean, like I said, in Louisville, the gas prices are far more expensive than they are out here in the sticks. And the reason being is because it's Louisville and they can get away with it. People in the city, you know, they just, they, they, they have to live, they have to rush through their lives every day and put that gas in the car. And, you know, it's not near as cheap as it was pre-September 11. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys and identify Disney drunk so we can stay focused for this, uh, this uh, captain's log. But Disney drunk is where you yield your imagination and let others do the imagination for you. That's why Elon has a two two hour, you know, going to Mars thing with the CGI and everything built in, and, you know, face to face, lectures, you know, reading a teleprompter, you know, doing all of that stuff because it's a real hard sell. But uh, if they lull you into being Disney drunk, then you'll believe anything, you know, you'll you'll buy right into it. And that's what I want to try to avoid as we go into January 20th of next year, 20 trillion dollars in debt in this country, and people are going to try to figure out how all this happened. So. We're getting out ahead of it. This is the definition of Disney drunk. Don't be Disney drunk. It's okay to enjoy, you know, like the new Star Trek Beyond or enjoy stuff. But, uh, but just realize that you too have your own imagination. And this is quite obviously the living heart realm or living creature or 
however you need to define it, but uh, the fact that you can just move an H around in the word earth and come up with heart and think that a lot of the violent behavior that we've experienced in the past and centuries of it uh, could be avoided. And maybe somewhere deep in the past it was avoided altogether because it was known to be the heart realm. And again, the definition of your life, which is like in Star Trek, is not monetary gain. It is communication and being the best person that you can be. And that's what I'm all about with my videos and peaceful resistance through communication. So remember to sub, like, share, do whatever you need to do, comment. But uh, I'm here for you guys, and this is the definition of Disney drunk. One love. Victory over Decepticons, because every day is a day to kick their butt. Word.